My name is Zach, and this is Zach's Tool Shop. A few months ago, I purchased this very sweet brushless impact driver from HyperTuff, which is sold at Walmart. It comes in a kit with an awful charger, which you should never use. You could buy an extra fast charger. It's much better. And a one and a half amp hour battery. This one was 50 bucks. That's pretty cheap, and it's brushless. Well, it turns out it's pretty decent, too. So I wanted to see how much this less than 40 bucks, 36 at the time when I bought it, brushed impact driver would do. They're both 12 volts. This one should be weaker. It's brushed. It's cheaper. Both of them come in the same style kit, but which one of them is actually better? Let's find out. Let's talk about the brushed version of the HyperTuff 12 volt impact driver. This is the information from the Walmart website. They go over some of the different features. We're going to do our own testing, so we won't go by this stuff right here. The brushed HyperTuff is six and one eighth inches long. The impact driver is about seven and one quarter inches tall with the battery. It weighs in at two pounds, 3.1 ounces or 996 grams. This is the brushless version of the 12 volt impact driver. It costs a little bit less than 50 bucks, so about $15 more. You also get the awful charger and a 1.5 amp hour battery, just like the other kit. According to the Walmart app here, it has a greater max torque, has a greater impact rate and RPM. The brushless 12 volt HyperTuff weighs 900 grams or one pound, 15.8 ounces. The impact driver is five and a quarter inches long, slightly taller than the brushed version at seven and a half inches. This is a look at the battery with the positive and negative terminals. On the back of the battery, you see two additional terminals and a charging port for their slow charger. The brushless version of the impact driver has an extra terminal to communicate with the battery. The brushless version has battery indicator lights on the side that illuminate when you pull the trigger. Brushless on the left, brushed on the right. The brushless version's light stays on a little bit longer, but on the right, the brushed version has a brighter light. Here is a look at the two lights, and me personally, I prefer the brushed version's light, the warmth of the light, and the intensity. I built this hydraulic tester so that we can test the power of impact drivers and impact wrenches by having them tighten a bolt against two hydraulic rams and putting pressure in the hydraulic system. It's going to be measured with a gauge and we can see which one is the strongest every time we test them. I've also added some electrical components and wiring so I can measure the voltage from the battery to the tool and the amperage from the battery to the tool, thus giving us the watts the tool is using. That doesn't mean that we can tell which tool is the most efficient. We can just tell how much power it's drawing out of the battery, which should roughly tell us which tool is the most powerful. As you can see, numbers pop up on the screen right there. Every five seconds, I update those numbers, and it's a total 15-second test. After the first test from each impact, I'll speed up the second test. We don't have to watch the full test again. And don't worry, guys and gals, when this whole video is over, we're going to put all these numbers together and talk about them a little bit. So if you didn't see one, it's okay. We're going to go over it at the end. Three, two, one. One takeaway you should have from watching the first run from the brushed impact driver is that the numbers are in general much lower. Three, two, one. Two, one. 
let's see some real life testing. And basically what I'm going to do here is I've taken a lot of outdoor decking screws, lined them up, and we're going to run eight screws in per impact driver. Half of them are going to be three inch screws. Half of them are two and a half inch screws. And the reason for that is the container had those type of screws in it. And there wasn't enough to put three inch screws all the way across the board. And that's what I figured out while I was setting up this test. Let's start with this M12 killing brushless hyper tough first. A time of just over 19 seconds would make DeWalt shiver in their boots. But let's see what the old brushed HyperTuff has to say about this. Well, I think we know already. I don't know exactly what the brushed hyper tough is saying, but it's taken too long to say it. So as we look at the final numbers here, guys and gals, on the top we have our brushed hyper tough. You can see it weighs more. 996 grams is 96 more grams. It's longer by about an inch. But as we go up the PSI scale up to 15 seconds, it produces a little bit over 50% of what the brushless version produces. It costs a little bit less. But when you go down to the second group of figures there, that's our point scale for determining how good each one of these impact drivers is. Both of them are using the 1.5 amp hour battery. The 2 amp hour battery does give them a little bit of a boost, but it's not tremendous. And it's not included in this scale. So PSI per inch. So per inch of that driver, how many PSI did it get? For the brushed, it was 32. For the brushless, it was 70. So over double of the brushed. PSI per kilogram divided by four. And the reason why I did it the way I did it is I tried to get it so it would even out properly and be a good scale, not only for these two, but for future impact drivers. Keeping in mind stuff like the M12, M18s, Flex, stuff like that. I want to make sure that it's not too crazy once you get into different numbers. And this is my best way to do that thus far. So PSI per kilogram divided by four. 49 PSI produced by the brushed, 102 from the brushless. So the brushless, again, way better in that category. PSI per dollar times 10. For the brushed, 52 PSI. For the brushless, 74. So significantly more, despite being more expensive. PSI per watt times 50. And I consider this my best efficiency category because we're taking the input wattage and we're seeing what it produces with it. So for the brushed, it comes out as 50, and for the brushless, at 78. So over 150% more than the brushed is the brushless. And as you look at the total, the brushless wins 254 to the brushed 183. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really do like using this one around the shop. It's coming really handy. I haven't had any issues with it or the drills that I purchased. I purchased the brushless drill and the regular drill as well. So I have a whole bunch of batteries, a whole bunch of crappy chargers, and I'm relatively impressed based on expectation. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, and I will see you guys on the next one. God bless you all.